What is up guys, Kid from Sunset Park, and I know I have not brought you a video in some time on the Uprising DLC, but I've been just so focused and so caught up with Mob of the Dead, it's been a blast playing that. I have gotten off the island, and I'm not going to spoil it for you guys who haven't played yet, but I'm going to be doing a video or videos of me playing with some friends. It's going to be interesting, so that should be out soon, depends on uh, I could get a bunch of friends together, maybe we could go for the Easter Egg if you guys haven't completed it already. Um, also, I've been really caught up with MLB 2K13, and let me know if you guys want to see some MLB videos, uh, because I just got the game, I'm doing my player, and I haven't played MLB since uh, 2K9, so I'm actually really having fun with it now, really enjoying my player, even though the game's not the best by any means, you know, it is fun, it is kind of enjoyable. But this is Studio, if you guys did not have the Uprising uh, DLC, you guys probably don't know what this map is, but it's basically the reskinned version of Firing Range, and this is the first time I'm playing on it, and it looks exactly the same. Basically, everything is in it, however, they did take out some lines of sight, some, uh, you know, little areas in Firing Range that was there in Black Ops 1 that got removed, they, um... You know, they didn't include it in this one, which, I, I don't know, it's kind of a two-way street. I like it, and I don't like it, but, you know, everything besides that is almost 110% identical. They went with a movie theme prop, which was kind of interesting. I didn't I didn't know why uh, they went with that sort of theme, like a movie set. It was kind of weird for me to see, uh, but they did an amazing job with it. They had so many moving elements, and that is just typical Treyarch. A lot of moving elements in the map. Uh, they have the a uh, the aliens and the um, kind of Jurassic Park area of the map, which is awesome. They are both sick areas. And uh, the map itself, again, there's nothing I can complain about here. If you did not get Uprising for any reason, you just didn't have the money, you're not sure. Uh, if you want to spend the money on this uh, map pack, you just don't like Black Ops. Uh, I suggest getting this map pack. It is really, really fun. Like I said, Zombies is just amazing. But this is just another piece of the puzzle that makes this map pack absolutely fantastic. I loved Firing Range in Black Ops 1. It was my favorite map. I did the best every single time on Firing Range. And I did the best on Nuketown. Those were the two maps where I would just, you know, get 60 plus gameplays, 70 plus dominations. And I would have a ball playing on this map. And when they brought it back, you know, I was so excited. I was so pumped. And I think I got like 45 kills in this game my first time out. And I'm using the MSMC like you guys saw already but you know it's just such a fun map the only thing about it is there's a lot of LMG users with target finder on this map because there's kind of lines of sight that cater to the target finder a lot of people are using them on uh, studio or firing range I'm just gonna call it firing range because basically that's what it is and uh, a lot of people are using it, and it's kind of unfortunate because, you know, the gameplay would be so much better if I didn't get killed by uh, people camping like that guy right there behind the uh, tree. Uh, not even capturing C, but he was just sitting there. And a lot of LMG users that I got taken out by because I had the target finder just was able to see me from a million miles away. But... The map overall, definitely amazing. Firing range in Black Ops 1 was definitely better, though. I feel like the guns in Black Ops 1 just made firing range, you know, a hundred times better, whether I was using the AK-47, the Commando, the MP5K, any gun that I could use on, on that map in Black Ops 1 and that do absolutely fantastic. Not saying that the map in this game is any different, you know, I could use any of the guns that I have on classes and do fairly well. It's just there's a lot more uh, LMG users with Target Finder, where in Black Ops 1 you weren't running into people that were using, you know, a lot of crazy guns. I mean, the FAMAS was really bad, but you could beat it out with an AK-47 any day and uh, that's why I really like Black Ops 1 firing range. Plus, it also was perfect for the chopper gunner, and the chopper gunner is going to be dearly missed on this map because when I would get chopper gunners and firing range on Black Ops 1, it was just stellar. It was absolutely fantastic. Now, the only thing that I like about this, as opposed to Black Ops 1 firing range, is you know, how cool every area of the map is. With Black Ops 1 Firing Range, it was, you know, same theme throughout. With this, I love how you could go from right here, Alien, into this kind of medieval-looking uh, area of the movie set. And that's what I really like. I really love that they went with the movie set theme because it is, you know, it's fantastic. They did a great job with it. Right now, I'm aiming down into the Jurassic Park area. And, you know, 
it's awesome to transition from movie set to movie set, and it kind of adds, you know, a, it kind of brightens you, you know, you up, it kind of livens you up when you're into another movie set, and, you know, it just adds an element to the game that's really, really awesome, and I think a lot more maps should be like this, instead of changing, um, you know, instead of doing the movie set thing, you know, change up, you know, the way certain areas look, you know, drastically, as opposed to having it look pretty similar throughout because that just kind of gets boring it kind of gets stagnant after a while and you know a lot of players like this type of changing element they like to see a bunch of moving things they like to see a bunch of you know cool interactive areas and that's what Treyarch does the best they have a lot of cool interactive uh, areas of the map and right here I'm using the LMG target finder and you're going to see how ridiculous this gun is I'm talking about I am dropping people with this gun and I think the only way I got killed is the guy with the exact same gun ends up taking me out and you know the LMGs need to be patched in this game something along the lines like that because they are ridiculous they're completely overpowered and uh, you know that's just my point of view on them you could have your own point of view doesn't really matter to me but I'm just saying these LMGs are ridiculous but back on topic, I mean, the map is perfect. I really love this DLC that they have. Uprising, you know, made me 110% happy. I didn't think it was going to be that good of a DLC of a map pack. But I'm completely content with it. I'm actually, you know, super happy with some of the maps besides Studio. You know, Vertigo. Uh, Encore, again, not one of my favorites. But, you know, I could do well on the map. Magma, again, I thought it was going to be stupid. But it just, they knocked it out of the park with this one. And, you know, hopefully they can keep following suit with these same map packs. Releasing map packs that the fans will love. You know, bringing back some traditional maps. I would love to see them bring back some more Black Ops 1 maps. Maybe Havana, because that was a pretty good map. You know, just something along the lines like that. Jungle would be sick if they brought that back. And I'm just really hoping that Treyarch really, you know, caters to the fans with this one. Keeps releasing those old classic maps that we love, along with these new maps that are completely fun, and these brand new zombie maps that are, I know for a fact are going to be amazing. Every zombie uh, installment, I know for a fact, is going to be amazing. So, I'm telling you now, with the next DLC... Uh, when it gets announced, whatever zombies is going to be in it, it's most likely going to be 110% better than Mob of the Dead. That's what they do. That's classic Treyarch. They just make it 200, 300 times better than the previous uh, zombies, and uh, that's why I love Treyarch. That's the one thing that I'm holding on with them with this game is zombies because they do a fantastic, fantastic job with it every single time. But that's the video, guys. Tell me what you think of Studio AK Firing Range. Tell me if you think it's, you know, the same exact map if you play the same as it as you did in Black Ops 1 if you had that game or if you think that it was kind of pointless they kind of did a stupid job using movie themed areas so I would love to read your opinions tell me in the comment section below also don't forget to give the video a like and if you're new to the channel don't forget to click subscribe and if I really did deserve it don't forget to add the video to your favorites guys but kid from Sunset Park enjoy the rest of your weekend I'm out peace